Why am I here sticking out? <laughs> oh. Hey everyone. So I just did a video about Chris Kumono. I know I was pronouncing, mispronouncing his, his name, but I can't stand the man, so I'll adjust it in this video. But I you know I want to say that there's a systematic systematic plan that has been put in place for quite some time um, with people who behind the scenes really want NWO New World Order to take effect and Kumo um, is one of them okay and um, and the reason I say that is he has state legislator has le legislature has approved um, a bail reform and President Trump kind of spoke about it a little bit while he was in Wisconsin and this bail reform is horrible and President Trump had said that this goes back to judges and prosecutors that are just as evil as Kumono. And they've created a way to, and this is my assessment, to allow the planned and organized terroristic attacks on New York City to destroy the city, which Kumo is behind. He's behind the whole mob communist agenda. Let's just be honest. And so prior to this, he approved the bail reform, um, basically manslaughter, arson, hate crimes. There's a list. Suspects in New York now get released for under the bail reform. So this allows these looters, rioters that are paid and it's all organized domestic terrorism. It's part of the satanic agenda. I'm just going to say what it is. But um, this was approved earlier in the year and it's dangerous because it potentially releases dangerous suspects from jail right back onto the streets. And again, President Trump mentioned this when he was in Wisconsin. That, you know, we got a lot of work to do with all this behind the scenes, anarchist, um, loophole making, law adjusting for the abuse to be able to circulate and destroy the city. And when I see Kumono accuse our president of exactly what Kumono's doing, you know, I've had it up, up to here with these uh, Democrats from hell, because that's what they are. They are straight from hell. They detest God. And I understand some people don't believe in God. I get that. Everyone's different. But when you got to run your mouth and talk against God all the time, and you're making New York satanic by killing your own city and creating laws and loopholes to allow these same individual domestic terrorists that you guys are funding, you guys are supporting, you guys you're in bed with with the mob with the whole communist agenda and you personally have waged war on new york city and you go and say president trump is trying to kill new york and he's a jerk and his own family can't stand him and you you bring up mary listen i saw mary's interview and just like you she has no facts it's a lot of it's a lot of whining, a lot of moaning, a lot of whining. 
no facts. Just witch hunts and, and insults, uh, disrespecting like a lot of what kimono does. Because when you catch these devils and you call them out for what they are, they complete, completely lose their minds. And everything they've been doing, they're going to throw it at our, prince, at our president. They're going to accuse our president of everything they've been doing. And they're going to act like these innocent little victims, these little lambs. We know, Kumona, we know you're not a little victim. You're not a lamb. You're, you're a tyrant. You're a terrorist. You are a communistic, domestic terrorist of a, of, of, of a governor. You are. And if people actually were able to see that you personally have waged war on your own city because you're in bed with the mob, communist, whatever the hell you want to call it, I don't, I bet you you get yanked out of your, your apartment. Not by me. I'm in, I'm in California and I would never do something like that. But if people started putting and connecting the dots. I mean, I personally don't know how you're going to be able to make it uh, to next season. I think there's a quote you made on January 8th. You went on record, Governor Cuomo, saying, quote, that there were consequences that you have to adjust for regarding this bail reform and that you were open to modifying it, modifying that law next season. Are you talking about when you get, or you're supposed to get, or you're expecting to get reelected? Um, I mean, is there a way people can prevent that? I just feel like you guys thought this agenda was going to kick in and win. So, so you guys thought you had it figured out that you just you think you're just going to season after season you're going to be able to do whatever you want. You're going to kill New York, and then you're going to blame it on our president. Um when he creates consequences for you killing your own city, state, okay? So, New York's bail reform law that Cuomo approved, it eliminates pretrial pre detention and cash bail for the vast majority of misdemeanor and nonviolent felony cases. Hundreds of offenses such as stalking, gang stalking, see, grand larceny, assault as a hate crime, second degree manslaughter will no longer be eligible for bail or pre-trial detention. And you sit there and you just run your mouth and say, our president is killing New York City. These are the psychopaths who are so desperate for power, for takeover, and you're a Satanist. I know that, but a lot of people know it. Um, you know, the damage, the damage you guys do to society and the way you just completely can continue on with that destruction by communicating that vermin at our president you know, I hope he really sucks to you when he takes away the billions and billions of dollars of tax, uh, tax funded um, grants. Um, so, quote, they eliminated bail, but they never put in the safeguard we need of allowing a judge to assess dangerousness. And the result is, we got some glaring loopholes that will go into effect. Mark Peter warned. A 
a C a CBS urban affairs expert says this sets New York up and sets New York apart from other states such as New Jersey um, they've also eliminated the cash bill so CBS 2 urban affairs expert I'm going to read that again says this sets New York apart from the other states such as New, such as New Jersey which has also eliminated cash bail. So basically someone can walk up to someone on the street, punch them in the face, and if they haven't done lasting physical injury, there's no bail available. And that's what happened to me when I was walking across the street leaving my apartment because I get gang stalked by domestic terrorists created by Scientology that they pay a hundred dollars a day to their members to carry out fair game on someone like me who has not wanted to take part any further than I had in that cult. So, um, here are the crimes, according to this reform bill. Um, it's the it, it falls under the bail reform law. These are the crimes that now fall under this law. That Chris Coo or, or Andrew Cuomo said he'll go ahead and make some adjustments. He'll think about it next season. Hopefully, you won't be around next season. And the way things are looking, there may not be a New York City left for you to tear apart any longer. Um, so these are the crimes that fall under this bail reform law. Oh, and I also want to say prosecutors and judges, I guess, had taken part that are just as crooked or more crooked, more of a tyrant, just as, of, as much of a tyrant and lawless. And an anarchists as Andrew Cuomo. And President Trump has mentioned that they need to go in there and work on that. It's just another thing they got to work on. Um, so these are all the crimes if these fall under, under this reform. Second degree burglary of a residence. Second degree burglary, burglary as a hate crime. Third degree burglary of a commercial building. Third degree burglary as a hate crime. Second degree robbery aided by another person. Second degree robbery as a hate crime. Third degree robbery. Criminal sale of a controlled substance. Multiple counts they can have. Using a child to commit a controlled substance crime. Criminal position, possession of controlled substance, multiple counts. Criminal sale of controlled substance in or near a school. Criminal possession of controlled substance, multiple counts. Criminal sale of a controlled substance in or near a school. Um, child sale of a controlled substance to a child. Criminal injection of a controlled substance into another person. Criminal sale of a controlled substance to a child. Criminal, criminal sale of prescription for a controlled substance by a pharmacist. Criminal possession or creation of methamphetamine. Third degree assault. Third degree assault as a hate crime. Reckless assault of a child by a daycare provider, reckless assault of a child, stalking multiple counts, stalking as a hate crime multiple counts, vehicle assault multiple counts, aggravated assault, 
aggravated vehicle, vehicular assault, vehicular. Aggravated assault on a child under 11 years old. Aggravated assault on a child under 11 years old as a hate crime. Menacing, multiple counts. Menacing as a hate crime, multiple accounts. Reckless endangerment, multiple accounts. Promoting a suicide attempt. First degree stalking while committing a sex offense. Criminal obstruction of breathing. Criminally negligent homicide. Second degree vehicular manslaughter. Aggravated vehicle manslaughter. Second degree manslaughter. Unlawful imprisonment, multiple accounts. Unlawful imprisonment as a hate crime, multiple counts. Aggravated labor trafficking. Custodial interference, multiple accounts. Sub substitution of children. Coercion, coercion, multiple accounts. Coercion, coercion, co coercion as a hate crime, multiple counts. Criminal trespass, multiple counts. Criminal trespass as a hate crime, multiple counts. Possession of burglar, burglar tools. Unlawful possession of a police scanner. Criminal mischief, multiple counts. Criminal mischief as hate crime, multiple counts. Criminal tampering, multiple counts. Cemetery desecration, multiple counts. Aggravated cemetery dese desecration, multiple counts. Reckless endangerment of property. Tampering with a consumer product, multiple counts. Graffiti. Possession of graffiti tools, third degree arson, fourth, fifth degree arson, third degree arson as a hate crime, and fourth and fifth degree arson as a hate crime. Grand larceny, multiple counts, and grand larceny as a hate crime, multiple accounts. Aggravated grand larceny of an ATM. Petite larceny, petite larceny as a hate crime. Computer tampering, multiple counts. Computer trespass, unauthorized use of a computer. Unlawful duplication of computer materials, multiple counts. Welfare fraud, multiple counts. Criminal use of a public benefits card, multiple counts. Criminal possession of a public benefits card, multiple counts. Criminal possession of a public benefits card, multiple counts. Unauthorized use of a vehicle, multiple counts. Auto stripping, multiple counts. Theft of services, unauthorized use of a credit card. Jostling, fraudulent accosting. Criminal possession of stolen property, multiple counts. Forgery, multiple counts. Criminal possession of forged instrument, multiple counts. Criminal possession of forgery devices. Criminal possession of a vehicle ID number. Forgery of a vehicle ID number. Falsifying business records, multiple counts. Tampering with public records, multiple accounts. Offering a false instrument for filing, multiple accounts. Insurance fraud, multiple accounts. Health insurance fraud, multiple accounts. Criminal diversion of pr prescription and medications, multiple accounts. Commercial broad bribery, multiple accounts. Rent gouging, multiple accounts. Residential mortgage fraud, multiple accounts. Bribery, perjury, multi multiple accounts to both. Bail jumping, multiple accounts. Obstructing government administration. Obstruction of governmental administration with self-defense spray device. Killing a police dog or police horse. Obstructing emergency medical services. Obstructing government services with a bomb. Escape, multiple accounts. Promoting prison contraband, multiple account accounts. Resisting arrest. Hindering prosecution, multiple accounts. Making false sworn statement. Bribing witness. 
witnesses, receiving a bribe as a, as, as a witness, bribing um, a juror, receiving a bribe as a juror, providing a juror with gratuity, tampering with a juror, tampering with physical evidence, compounding a crime, first degree criminal contempt, second degree criminal contempt, all gambling offenses, all prostitution offenses, providing an indecent material in minors, multiple accounts, riot, multiple accounts, rioting, criminal anarchy, harassment, multiple accounts, harassment as a hate crime, multiple accounts, aggravated harassment, multiple accounts, aggravated harassment as a hate crime, multiple accounts, criminal nuisance, multiple accounts, falsifying reporting a crime, or falsely reporting a crime, same thing, pointing a laser at an aircraft, multiple accounts, harming a service animal, multiple accounts, public lewdness, illegal eavesdropping. I mean, these are all things communists do. This is all things the mob does. Decimation of unlawful surveillance, multiple counts. Non-support of a child, non-support of a child, multiple counts. Um, endangering the welfare of a child, assisting in female genital mutilation. So this is where it starts getting satanic, guys, because that's what they do. All this stuff with the children and the animals and assisting in female genital mutilation. I mean, if you look up what they do in these sacrifices, these, some of them are pedophile, pedophile sacrifices um, and as you see here mutilating the female in that area is these 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 satanic pedophiles murderers I don't get it. Um, so assisting in female genital mutilation, endangering the welfare of an incompetent or physically disabled person, endangering the welfare of a vulnerable elderly person, endangering the welfare of a disabled person, multiple counts, promoting an obscene sexual performance by a child. So now we're getting into pedophilia, and this is what he's all about. Satanism and, and being a pedophile. So, you know, he, he, he's opening the segue, because um, he, he's a criminal. And when he accuses our president of killing New York City, and this is what he's allowing, you know, again, this is what these Democrats do. Everything they're doing, they turn it around and they blame it on our president. Um, and wait, there's more. Um, so, pos possession of an obscene sexual performance by a child, Listen. they're pedophiles, okay? I've known this, but promoting a sexual performance by a child, possessing a sexual performance by a child. Fourth degree criminal possession of a weapon, criminal possession of a weapon on school grounds, criminal possession of a firearm, third degree criminal possession of a weapon, criminal purchase or disposal of a weapon, unlawful wearing of a body vest, unlawfully fleeing a police officer in a vehicle, multiple counts. Enterprise corruption, money laundering, multiple counts, money laundering in support of terrorism. What have I been saying? I mean, I know President, no, I know the President and people 
in that circle and all that thing, you know, he's a terrorist. Corrupting the government, multiple counts. Criminal solicitation, multiple counts. Conspiracy, multiple counts. Conspiracy as a hate crime, multiple counts. Criminal facilitation, multiple counts. So it goes on to say, it's concerning. We're gonna have to work harder, harder than ever with our partners, with our fellow district attorneys, to prosecute these crimes to make sure that when we are on top of our game, new NYPD Commissioner Dermont Shea told CNBC, CBS, I'm sorry, CBS2 in December. I'm going to read that again. It's concerning. We're going to have to work harder than ever with our partners, with our fellow district attorneys to prosecute these crimes to make sure that we are on top of our game. Andrew Kumona, you're a Satanist, you're a pedophile, you're a terrorist. And you've killed, you're slowly killing New York City. And when you, you run your mouth and you say stuff like that, um, it, it's disgusting um, what you've done to New York City and what's going on in New Jersey. And it just seems like the trafficking hubs, which New York City is, it just seems like they're really easing up on these laws. So the people who are doing, breaking these laws, whether it's pedophilia related, satanic ritual related, obstructing, creating criminal activity and, 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 and criminal activity against animals, I mean, you, you need to get out of uh, New York. I, I mean, you have no business um, holding that position. Um, this is really bad, guys. So, again, when you have individuals that are standing before a judge and immediately being released, now, those crimes I just mentioned, these people are immediately released. And essentially everyone in the room knows that this person is a danger to the community. I think we need to look at the system. Andrew Kumona. Kuma. I think we need to look at the system. Andrew Kuma. Corrupt judges, corrupt prosecutors, like 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 Trump said when he was in Kenosha today or yesterday. Um we need to make sure, we need to make sure that judges can make Common sense decisions, Shea explains. Well, l let's just put it this way. They don't. They don't always make common sense decisions. And now they got these lax ass, non-existent consequences for these type of law breaking uh, people. And it's, I mean, it's an outrage. Um, I mean, I'm surprised Mariah Carey hasn't sold her house. Um, just... And you know, the devils like like Kumo, they want their little trafficking hub, their satanic trafficking hub. He's a pedophile, all his pedophile friends. Um, you know, he's just making it easier for them to do their crimes and to rage war on New York City and lower the value of real estate so they can continue on with whatever agenda they have planned. And, um, I mean, you, you need to get out. You need to jump ship. Um, Kumo estimates the new law will keep about 90% of defendants out of jail, at least until their cases get resolved. These offenders will also have added the added bonus of a new incentive program in New York City which will give release suspects, released subsets, which will give released subs, suspects things like New York Mets tickets and gift cards for showing up to court. So they are paying their domestic terrorists, their satanic pedophiles, people who abuse 
animals, abuse police, New York Mets tickets, and gift cards. They're paying the criminals, the terrorists, domestic terrorists, and their, their little pedophile community they got going on, their trafficking community. For showing up to court, they get things like New York Mets tickets and gift cards for showing up. It's not as though there's a light switch and suddenly New York City is going to become vastly more dangerous than it was last year. Listen, they've planned this and it has become more dangerous because now they have the domestic terrorists tearing up the city and to protect those domestic terrorists, all of these laws that they can do to people, children, and animals, they get rewarded with Mets tickets and gift cards. You know, I can't wait for President Trump to give reality of consequences to Andrew Kumono, Cuomo, the cancer, his satanic cancer. Um, so, you know, when, when we, we hear what's going on and then we have someone say, because, you know, they got to find a way to kind of lessen the injury that I just read, that Horror, that horror I just read. So they always have to come up with a way to kind of lighten it up, to make it not sound as bad. So I'm going to read that again. It's not as it's not as though there's a light switch and suddenly New York City is going to become vastly more dangerous January 1st of 2020 than it was December 31st of 2019. These are things we'll see the effects, uh, you know, the effects of over the next several months. Peter told CBS 2's Ally Bomb. Let me tell you something, people. These radical left, these terroristic mob governors and mayors knew exactly what was coming. And they made sure their domestic terrorists that they're hiring because Kumono, New Jersey, Kumo, they're on the same side as...